Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining me today. I'm out for a shed hunt for the first time in over a month. Found ourselves a skull from a little shed buck right here. Just got started about 15 minutes ago. I am dying to get up on the mountain. I've already had GoPro issues. <laughs> That's two times in a row I've had GoPro issues, so we'll be filming mainly on the phone it looks like. Oh, look at that view. So hopefully we'll get into some antlers today. Thanks for coming along. Well guys, we're on the very, very top of the ridge. We kind of zigzagged it typewriter all the way up. I went through a couple of areas. I thought for sure I'd find sheds. The beds are just so thick in there. And it just looks like places where I found a lot of sheds over here. But anyway, we're on the very top, so I'm gonna work the top back and forth. It's skinny, it won't take long. And then I'll drop down and work my way all the way back down. It's windy up on top. Beautiful day though, let me flip this around. There's a lake off in the distance. And then here's the back side of it. So I'm close to the area where uh, two years ago, I took my friend Dave Robinson deer hunting. I'll put a little card to that video. That's the same video where I shot my buck in 2019. We, I didn't end up shooting it here, but we hunted out here for a day. So we'll work the top and then start heading back down, see what we can find. Okay, everyone, I'm just coming down the face. It's gnarly, it's just super steep, all this loose rock. It looks like right in that opening I got a shed, but it might be a stick shed and I'm going to be bummed if it is. I don't have my binoculars, but that's definitely a brighter white than any of the other sticks around it. <clears throat> but the sun's shining right there. I mean, that could easily be a stick. We're going to find out though, but I'm going to turn the camera off and then wait till I get closer because I'm going to need both hands to get through that shale. So hopefully we got our first antler, but now the more I look at it, I think it's a stick. So we'll, we'll see when I get down there. All right, guys, it is a shed, thankfully. Thank you, Lord. A little four-point. It's not a big four-point, but it's got a cool little kicker on it. Oh, let's see if we can get down in here and get closer. Oh. Look at that. What a cool little shed. I mean, it's not big at all, but look at that cool little kicker on that guy. That's a funky little four right there. It's got a brow tine on it. That's awesome. Certainly not the biggest shed I've ever found, but maybe one of the coolest as far as character. Wow, I still can, look how long that little kicker is for, I mean, just for the rest of the shed, right? For how small that shed is, it's a long kicker on it. So we didn't get skunk, so thank you, Lord. I'm in Rich County. So I'm going to go back and look through all the comments from my last two videos. I'm pretty sure someone guessed Rich County as far as where I was going to find my next shed. So one of you guys is going to be getting a prize. So I'll get you more details on that at the end of the video. But we'll throw this in my backpack and get some water. I just cramped as I sat down. So I need to, need to get a lot of water because I'm still a long way up. You can kind of see where I am overlooking the lake. Boy, look how pretty that is. Look where the clouds are making the water darker over there. Beautiful day. Other than the wind, it's been perfect. And honestly, now that I'm off the top, even the wind's not too bad. Thanks for coming along, everybody. Uh, that wasn't a very long video as far as the time up on the mountain, but I wanted to make sure I got something posted for the week. I really tried to commit to posting a video at least once a week this year. Uh, and we didn't get skunked. We found that cool shed. It wasn't a big shed but really character wise, one of the coolest sheds I've found in a while. So a couple of things as we wrap this up. First, I had mentioned that whoever correctly guessed which county I found the next shed in that I would do a prize. And I went back and looked at all the comments and actually my buddy Sean Lawler is the one guy who guessed Rich County. Now Sean was just on my last video. So I hope you guys that know me well enough know there was no 
you know, no funny business going on. I didn't tell him what county to guess or anything like that. Uh, just so happens he guessed the right county. And uh, so I'm going to actually be giving Sean another hat. He's already got one minute on the mountain hat. This will be for his grandson, Dax. That's the prize that he's going to get. And so i just excited to give that to him. And I sure appreciate all his support. So let's get that out of the way. That was Rich County. Uh, we're at about, I don't know, 625 subscribers, something like that. We'll do another giveaway at 650. So as we get a little closer, I'll get you the details on that. The other thing that I want to do today is the channel shout out. And the channel that I want to shout out is Rogue Outdoorsman. Uh, if you love shed hunting videos, you need to watch his channel. Now, he does hunting videos. He finds arrowheads, artifacts. He does all kind of stuff in the outdoors. Uh, his name is Trent. But man, that guy finds a lot of sheds, a lot of big sheds. Um, I've seen a lot of videos with him where he's got wildlife on there, quite a few videos where he's seeing bears, just a lot of neat footage. So when you get some time, check out that channel. I'll put a link in the description. Again, Rogue Outdoorsman. And lastly, I want to do the Minute on the Mountain. The Minute on the Mountain comes from Proverbs 31. Uh, we did a sermon in church today in honor of Mother's Day on a Proverbs 31 woman. If you're familiar at all with Proverbs 31, you know that verses 10 through 31 are all about what you should look for in a wife. It's a, a list of advice from this guy named King Lemuel from his mom on what he should look for in a woman. But there's a verse that talks about how she laughs without fear of the future. It can be really easy to, to believe that the reason she doesn't fear the future is because of how hard she works. Because much of the chapter talks about how enterprising she is, how she gets up before dawn, how she's still working after dark, how she spins wool, how she's harvesting grapes, just all these activities. But I want to make sure we're all clear, the reason she laughs and doesn't fear the future isn't because of her effort and her work and her energy. The reason that she laughs and doesn't fear the future is because she serves a faithful, mighty God. So that's why she laughs. So, so ladies in particular, if you're watching this video, if you struggle with anxiety, if you struggle with a lot of worry about the future, working harder, having a bigger, bigger to-do list, a bigger checklist won't solve that. What will solve that is waiting on the Lord, is trusting in God to be your strength, trusting in Him to be faithful and Him to provide. That will give you joy for the day so that you can laugh and not have fear for the future. So that's today's Minute on the Mountain comes from Proverbs 31. Thanks, guys, for all your support. Thanks for coming along on this last shed hunt. It was great to be up on the mountain. I hadn't been in the mountains in quite a while. Uh, even though we only picked up one antler, it's still a great day to me and a great day to be in God's creation. So I hope you have a great week this week. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. God bless you guys, and we'll see you the next time we're out on the mountain.